Welcome to Happy Wolf Art and another episode of New Comics. Really quickly, this is my Instagram if you are interested in cartooning and artwork and stuff. Perhaps consider checking out my Instagram, giving me a follow. But uh, yeah, let's take a look at some of the stuff I've been reading over the last week or two. Uh, this is a self-published title called Sliced Timber, number one. Uh, Lumberjack Nick, I believe he's under Lumberjack Nick Comics on Instagram, but a uh, really fun first issue, and just give you a quick flip through, a lot of um, slice of life type of stories, there is a wrestling story in there um, that will continue into part two, um, just a lot of fun um, sort of personal stories, some sort of elaborated on and made up, but you can tell some of it actually was part of his real life. So very enjoyable, um, liked it a lot. He sent a nice little sketch with that. So got that this week, really enjoyed it. And uh, got episode two. So this is probably two weeks worth of um, my comics, but uh, episode 2 of Knights vs. Samurai, two ninety nine price point. Um, I get, uh, through my job, I get uh, a good discount, so it um, makes these comics pretty ch inexpensive. Uh, if I had to pay, pay cover price for this particular title, I think I probably would have stopped reading it. But with that said, um, give a quick flip through. I still um, am enjoying the story for the most part, but uh, there's so many titles out these days and uh, one only has so much money that you can spend. So um, they have the conflict in this story with the Samurais uh, and the Medieval Knights. So um, pretty interesting though, for the most part. This is the back cover for issue three. And I think uh, the story has been uh, cut back and um, sort of narrated um, and trimmed to where at parts the story doesn't seem to have the proper pacing. And I'm not sure if they did that just to condense the title. But anyway, still enjoyable if you're into medieval um, stuff, if you're into warrior culture. Armored, uh, another one of my favorite series. And this issue is really enjoyable. A continuing of the mystery. Um, the adopted boy. And he has this ghost that uh, he's a medieval, disembodied medieval knight that follows him around and has helped train him. Uh, but the mystery deepens. He learns more about um, some of the history and some of the involvement of the different people in the town in um, various people's um, missing, becoming missing, or deaths, and uh, just really an interesting tale um, so far. So that was issue three, I think it was. Yep, issue three. And then um, Absolute Batman number one. Um, this is the second printing. I got the second printing because the third printing has this one. It's a really nice looking cover. Ha uh, third printing has this in foil, so I'll grab the foil to match this cover A for second printing, and then I have the foil for uh, the first print. Um, but it's been a pretty enjoyable um, title. I've only read this one. I'm not into the Wonder Woman or the Superman one. I think those titles personally I think they're going to bomb and die out pretty quickly, but um, we'll see. We'll have to let the consumers decide on that. Um, these are not new, but new to me, just um, back issues um, that I picked up that are really fun little dot. Love this cover, just the colors and the design of it, but little dot stories are always really enjoyable. Um, got some fun Flintstone. Hanna-Barbera, uh, if you haven't read one of these in a while, super enjoyable, even if it's just for the advertisements to bring you back to when you're a kid. 
but um, really fun stories. I like looking at the art and the line work um, for my own cartooning in those. And then um, I never read this one, so there's the facsimile edition of Donny Cates run on Venom. This is uh, this issue is the first appearance of uh, Knoll or Knoll, however you pronounce it. So I haven't had a chance to read that one yet, but I got this facsimile edition. It looks essentially like the, the actual first print, um, but it's not. So um, I think Marvel is trying to trick people a little bit. It doesn't even say second printing or actually facsimile, not even second printing, sorry, it's a facsimile anywhere on the cover. So um, anyways, pick that up for um, just a read. Uh, you can't, or maybe you can see this a little bit. This is I Lie Popeye issue number one. It's a sketch uh, cover. So I'm looking forward to drawing on this at some point. And I have issues one and two already, but um, I really wanted to pick up this variant. So I ordered that separately. And again, I get some fun, nice discounts on all of these because of my employment at, at the comic shop where I'm at. And uh, so this is just a cool cover. So with the spinach, there's Popeye. Mm. Anyways, really like that one. Looking forward to issue three. Oops. Looking forward to issue three on this. And they did fix the print problem or the text it was too small on issue one. Almost so small that you couldn't read it, but. Right, Uncanny Valley. Still enjoying this title. This uh, title annoyed, or this issue annoyed me a little bit. In all honesty, um, it should have started about halfway through. They went into some back history. It seemed just, uh, just like a filler space. Back to the beginning of time, when um, starts with an art table and dinosaurs. The dinosaurs were wiped out. And it just got too philosophical. This is, to me, just a fun cartoon um, story. Um, and this little girl is the main character's mother. As a child, she had some difficulty with health issues. That's where the story should have started um, for this issue. And right here, she's born with some breathing issues, heart issues, and so she stayed inside, some allergies, I think it was, and her friends were cartoons, and so she watched a lot of TV growing up, and then it, this issue sort of answers the question, but not directly enough, um, how the main character was uh, created so this is a human girl, and she meets this cartoon male that uh, actually takes care of her and befriends her. They fall in love. You can see the, the hearts and the eyes. And somehow she gets pregnant by this cartoon character, and um, they're hanging out here. Um, and then she has a baby. Here they are after the birth, and the baby is the main character who is part human, part cartoon. So um, this is the real story. There, I've wondered how they're going to try and answer this ultimate dilemma, what they're going to show and what they're going to talk about. But uh, they touched on it a little bit and avoided it a lot. So um, anyways, the story is getting extended, I believe, uh, if it's maybe the issue seven or ten i can't remember but the story is going on longer than planned um, probably because of popularity um, but they are doing some filler stuff in there to um, make that happen and then the last issue i wanted to mention is grommets issue five and this is taking place at the party where the friends are getting together and it's pretty much just a, a party issue Art is incredible, as always. Um, some jocks end up crashing the party, 
and there's a conflict. Um, so typical party uh, nonsense and buffoonery that goes on. Um, I avoided all this stuff in junior high, high school. Uh, didn't have any patience for it then, nor do I now. But um, it was still a fun issue. And the main character and the girl he's interested in are hanging out at the pool, having a nice talk. And then they decide to do some skinny dipping, uh, which they don't show too much of. Um, but I'll let you. This is about as much as it gets. But um, anyways, super fun issue. Can't wait to see where this one goes. A little spoiler, I'll flip to the end here. Um, they get in a fight and he gets his face pounded uh, to pulp, pretty much. So that's where this issue ends and um, it will continue with issue uh, six and seven. I think this one's going to stop at issue seven. So been a fun ride. Hope for more even when this does end. It's been really popular uh, and the one in tens uh, variants have done really well in the after market um, and so there's there's a bit of uh, momentum behind this one as far as popularity but anyways thanks for joining me hope you liked uh, just seeing a few titles that i've been reading and